deeper than that. These are the ideals of the American Revolution. And you know what? We do have some enemies that we need to defeat on the other side, but we have challenges to address in our own party right here at home. So you know what? If you want somebody who's going to foist onto you to use your social media account, you want to use a driver's license to do it, to have the right to use the Internet, this man's not your man. There's another candidate in this race who'll do that for you. It's Nikki Haley. You want to send, you want to cut Social Security, you want to cut Medicare, you want to cut veterans' benefits so we can fork over more money to Ukraine so some kleptocrat can buy a bigger house? Vote for Nikki Haley, not this man right here. But if you want to actually put an agenda that puts Americans first, to say that the moral obligation of your leaders is to the citizens of this country, not another one, there is not a better choice left in this race than this man right here. And that is why I am asking you to do the right thing as New Hampshire and to vote for Donald J. Trump as your next president, because we're not working with a lot of time here. If our kids are in high school before we get this right, we don't have a country left. That's what it means. We've been celebrating our diversity and our differences for so long that we forgot all of the ways that we are the same as Americans, bound by that common set of ideals that set this country into motion. We believe those ideals still exist. This man is going to be your next president to revive them. E pluribus unum, from many, one. And you know how we're doing it? We're doing it by speaking the truth at every step of the way.